Here we are Christmas morning in Thailand. It just happens to be their one of two days off. They work 15 days straight and then they get two off and work 15 days straight and get two off. That's usually the way it works. Although chances are you won't find them here after payday either. There's the water guy. I am the water boy. But uh, so yeah, they've got about uh, 20, 20 poles in. They have three to go just up this side here, which they couldn't dig because of the uh, all the dirt piles they had. So they started to fill back in these ones here. So they'd be able to dig these ones out here. So this is going to be like where the driveway is. Over there is the front of the house. Yeah, so Christmas morning. Santa came last night, brought myself a coffee beans grinder. He saw me struggling with the old hand method. And Jen has this new machine for making iced coffees and iced whatever, crushes ice, has smoothies, all sorts of stuff. So it's Christmas day and they did actually work today. They just didn't get here until after 10 because that's when I was here this morning. But they've got these forms uh, set now on the posts, on the verticals. And this is in row number three, coming this way. So these are all five that are gonna be done. So yeah, so they've got the forms in, they're building them up to ground level right now. And they can start filling them in. And then they'll continue the concrete up to the top. Weld the roof on. I don't know what they do. They just hide their barrels here though. <laughs> so Boxing Day, just before six o'clock, sun is setting. They've filled in now all the holes. They've got them above the ground, the posts, all at the same height, using their water level. This one here, they're just letting it get uh, a bit drier. These were the last ones that they poured. These will be the last ones that they fill. Those are the newest holes now that they've just dug. The last three, which will make the 23 in total, which will be supporting the house. So, just have to let these soy dogs know who's boss. And until they show their teeth, it's me. Oh, here's three more of these cages. There's one, two here. This one, they make a double hole, the same as they've done previously. They'll dig two close together. And then that's the third one there. So just down to the final holes here. One here and two here that are close together. That'll be 23. The rest now they've backfilled in all across the backs. They're bending up the last ones here. Got two here. This is the third and final. And they're all done. And then we're told production will be very quick. But we'll have to see how that goes. So today is December 28th and we have a whole new day. So all 23 holes are in and now they're doing the foundations. More digging and more uh, arc welding. And the cement's been poured into these ones. That was the first one they've done. They've all been backfilled. And these are the last ones here. Back from the starting point again. Please, uh, Holding the cement mixer. Don't look directly at it. He doesn't wear eye protection. Would you blame him? Come on. They wear flip flops at best. Eye protection. What's that? Yeah. Building all the forms. And they join all the bases together. Okay, so 
So this time the heavy rains last night filled up the holes with water, these final three. The fourth one over there has already uh, been set since day one, so it's fine. These ones look a little soupy. They're just on the edge of the property here, on the driveway side. These ones here, I don't know if you can see it, they're pointing in every direction. I know the bottom is vertical where they come out and they put the wood in it to kind of help stabilize them. But, uh, I know they cut all the wood as well so they could get their string lines perfect, so that kind of took away the strength of the wood. But you see other places, their poles are like straight up and down before the concrete. Kind of like that one. <laughs> okay, take, take a walk from the other side now. This is looking at the front, sort of where the front doors are going to be in this area, driveway off to the side. So I can see the foundation they, well they completed yesterday, but they are starting to put them all, tie them all together now. You can see this here, along here. And then along the back side to the corners and then down these ones and then they'll do them all. And then uh, box them up, frame them and get the concrete in them and then they'll start go vertical. Start going vertical. So there it is, the unnamed scooter. But anyways, it's uh, January 1st. January 1st. <laughs> 2019. 2019. So we're just back at the site, construction here. Let's see what's going on. The guys have uh, four days off right now for their holidays. And so they were off the 3031 and then 1 2. So they should be back on the 3rd, 3rd of January. 2019 <laughs> just feels weird even saying it so I'm just gonna walk around to the front and then I'll flip the camera around and show you what I'm looking at it's easier than doing it this way and doing it like this right now yeah. so let me just turn it around here with the magic of the finger there we go magic of the finger turn it around so uh, these are the last three that they have dug so it looks like there's kind of like uh, mud on top but it's still water there's so much rain here um one evening rained a tonnage tonnage a lot and so wow i guess these bags kept dry though surprising that's nice so i don't know if they they won't pump it out but they'll probably scoop it out with a little bucket our power meter now is up to about 30 30 there it is right there i think we pay four baht per kilowatt hour So here, we're gonna walk up this walkway here. I'm gonna need another pile of sand. But they're packing the dirt down now around these posts. We have to keep our eyes open for dog, sh dog waste. <laughs> so these were the ones that have all been opened, filled, two and a half meters down, and blah, blah, blah. Come over this way. This is where they're building the uh, retainer footings, I guess they are the footings, yeah. Let's make sure I don't fall in any sinkholes here. So they have these footings now that they're putting in, that they're tying up, and they're gonna take all the posts together. Then you see them, they've got the rebar lined out across the back there. So they'll all be joined, and that way they can support the floor going across the concrete floor. And then they'll start building up the posts, get them vertical. See, they have these ones set up, ready to go. But when the clock rang on Thursday, or whatever day it was, they're off, and they're out of here. Some of the cement got a little high, so they had to, uh, they were actually using electric jackhammer and they were knocking it out. But surprisingly, look at how level and flat that is. It doesn't look like jackhammer breaks. But, oh, maybe it's more like that one. Anyways, zoom in. But it was just a little bit, sorry for the finger, a little bit too high for the, uh, for the footings, the retainer wall that they're putting in now. They just set the metal framing around the post here. Then he's got the piece number four here that they'll fit in the back here. This fella's just putting in his tacks, holding it together. And it'll end up being one of these ones. So they've already poured the bottom cement, got the foundation put in there. I mean the basket filled it up. So they join these. So then let's center these when they pour.
the concrete and they'll end up like these ones here which they've already buried and the next step watch out for the tools everywhere is they're putting in the uh, foundation on the rebar and they'll do the same thing by putting the support sort of baskets or the framing around them and pour the concrete in but they'll run those between all the posts here they're wiring them up and they had the arc welder the other day so once they get a bunch in then they'll start running the concrete and then once they're done then they'll start going vertical the rest of the way and then weld the roof on this guy he's still hand bending all of the frames which will end up being these things. Yeah. And then she bends them, slides them into place. Oops, got to shrink it down. Wire, wire ties everything together. Look at all the wire ties. Saturday, January 5th, just a continuation with the base, footings, the foundation. And then we go vertical.